Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to have a look at Microsoft's new Reflect app inside of Microsoft Teams. Now this allows teachers to actually check the well-being of students as well as how they are feeling about the lesson and the content as well as individual meetings, etc. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really does help. Thank you. So here in Microsoft Teams, I'm going to choose New Conversation, click the three dots, and then add the Reflect app. Once you've added it, you don't need to add it again, and it'll come up in the taskbar. Here you'll see the default questions, the privacy, and the duration of how long that Reflect app should be on. In questions, you'll see different types of questions depending on what you want to ask the students. So for example, you can ask personal and social questions such as how are they feeling, but you can also ask questions about their learning as well as their goals. So this is really important to get that information from learners. In privacy, you can change who can see the reflections and who can see the names. And then in duration, how long that reflect question will appear on the team for people to reply to. You'll also see the how you're feeling today, and if you click on any of these emojis, you'll see the responses that students are allowed to access. So this is essentially a student view of what they can fill in. You can see here it fills in the sentences, there's a little character as well, which makes it really fun and engaging for learners to reflect on how they're feeling or the lesson. Once you click send, that just goes directly inside of Microsoft Teams as like a little question poll that students can then reply to. I'm just going to add another reflect and this time we're going to have a look at a different question set so we'll have a look at like student learning. So again in question as you can see it's currently saying how you're feeling today and what we're going to do is we're going to change that to a learning type question because the students responses are slightly different in here and you can use it for a slightly different purpose so these are really good for like exit tickets to see how well students have done. I'll change the privacy as well just so you can see the different settings and again remember you can change the duration as well. I'm going to click send now and that will get that sent directly into that team. If it doesn't show up directly like you can see here, just scroll down and you'll see the different question sets inside of Teams. So let's have a look at the student view now and what they see. So here as a student, you'll see the two questions and essentially you just click on the emoji to answer the question. So you select this, it gives the keywords that you're after, such as like confident and how they're feeling, as well as an emoji and a bit of a sentence to explain that. Then click submit and that is then submitted directly to the teacher. As a student, when you click explore, essentially what this does is it allows you to explore that change at that question again, and you can actually change your response and have a, a bit more of a look around it in case you needed to change it. As again, as a student, let's now choose the question set that was more about learning. So I'm going to choose the in-between one just so you can see the difference. And you'll see here that the emoji is slightly different and the characters, and you'll see the responses are slightly different as well. As well, you'll also see kind of questions relating to the learning experience and how it might affect learning. I'm going to click close now, and then you'll see that they have just been submitted to the teacher. Again, let's have a look at the staff view to see what they see. So now you'll see that these have been completed by a few students and you'll actually be able to click the explore to see where they are. So you'll see here in this one, you'll see that it's Elon Musk and he answered it and you can actually click on this and have a little bit more about previous reflections as well as his current emotional state and how he's doing. And you'll also see students that have not filled it in as well and they come up as gray and it'll just show you that they have not actually selected an emotion, for example. I'm going to click done now and let's have a look at the learning one. It's slightly different, so we'll click explore and you'll see here this one's more about the learning journey of students. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really does help. Thank you.